traders, Gary Wagner here, approximately 1 o'clock in Honolulu, 7 o'clock in New York. It is Friday. Happy Aloha Friday, as we say on the island. It is the 14th day of August, 2020, and this is uh, the Daily Report for Gold and Silver, our weekend review, and what a week we have seen. We have definitively entered some sort of a correction in both gold or silver. But before we get to the show, I do have two announcements to make. The first is that we have seen historical movement in gold and silver. We have had a lot of new subscribers come on board over the last couple of weeks, the last month to say the least. And to that end, we are going to begin doing a series of new subscriber workshops. And you can see uh, the address at the bottom of the screen, support at thegoldforecast.com. You can write them and they will send you a link for registration. The other way is on the members page in the market forecast section. There will also be a link. But once again, we will be holding a workshop for new subscribers, although anyone is welcome to attend. The platform is Zoom. The date is the 25th of August. That is Tuesday at 7 o'clock. Eastern Daylight Time. The second announcement is that Daniela Camboni, who has been with Kitco News for about 12 years, she really started at the beginning, announced today that she will be leaving Kitco and moving on elsewhere. We wish her the very, very best in any endeavor she pursues. Let's take a look at pricing and then we'll take a look at our technical studies. After witnessing the first signs of a potential correction a week ago Friday, we certainly got follow through this week when just a few days ago we saw gold drop by $117 per ounce in a single day. Quite a move. We had two days of recovery following that. Thursday and Wednesday, but today we did once again see lower pricing with the most active December contract closing at $1,953.70, down $16.70 on the day. Spot gold also traded lower, $1,943.61, declining by about $9, and silver had the largest percentage drawdown, losing about $1 dollar and 17 cents currently fixed at 2654 this basis the september contract and that was all with some mild tailwinds from a weaker u.s dollar we did send out a trade alert yesterday we only addressed gld and slv however after pulling profits on five trade recommendations that we made concurrently, I felt the most prudent move in terms of our future and Forex trades were to stand on the sideline and get some sort of definitive confirmation that a bottom is in place. Let's take a look at our technical studies. The first chart that we are going to look at is an extremely long-term view of the market. We are looking at a monthly candlestick chart. I have one simple line, and that line is identifying the former all-time high that comes in roughly at 1920. And the reason I point this out to you is that even with the sell-off that we have witnessed this month, and that is this red candle here, we can see that the lows have gone below this particular price point. However, at this point in the month, it has still maintained a price point above that former record high. However, when we convert our monthly to a weekly chart, we can see that really all of the activity in terms of the market moving lower occurred this week, and that is this long red candle. Not only did we break back below 2,000, but we broke to about 1950 and actually traded to a low before recovering of about 1880. So we are seeing some signs of stability in that we're well off of the lows achieved this week. However, we do not see any kind of a V or a pivot as of yet. And we really have to look at a daily chart before we start making sense of how the former all-time record high price which occurs right here at 1920, really fits into current activity because when we take a look at the strong sell-off that occurred on Tuesday, that is this red candle here, we had a lower low on Wednesday. However, it opened at 
that particular price point, 1920, and closed well above it. Following day, once again, we opened above it and closed above it. And today, even though it traded lower, the entire body as well as the high and low are all above 1920. And that to me is indicative of the potential for support. However, I believe it's too early to enter our futures trade. And that is why we are starting to again accumulate GLD and SLV. We'll talk about that in just a minute. But first, let's take a look at silver. And traders, we are taking a look at a daily chart, this of the continuous contract representing September futures. We have a basic Fib retracement that starts from the onset of this rally below $12 up to the point in which it just touched upon $30. The first level that we wanted to look at is at about $25. 08 and that is the 23 percent retracement however it did trade well below that yesterday it closed above that and even though today had a tremendous drawdown of about four percent what is interesting to me is we have our low matching up with this particular retracement level this could potentially hold we'll have to see how that unfolds on monday if it does hold, we would look for the market to rechallenge and retest $30 per ounce. However, if the reciprocal is true and we get further selling pressure next week, we could expect it to break below the price point of $25, and I would look for it to find major support at approximately $23 per ounce. Traders, my recommendation is to maintain a neutral stance in futures and Forex, gold, and silver. Traders, as you know, we did send out a trade alert yesterday recommending that you begin to accumulate the electronically traded funds, silver, SLV, and gold, GLD. We're looking at the iShares Silver Trust. It opened today at 2511. That is pretty much where this one line is. Market closed at 2458. So off about 50 cents per share on the initial entry price. But I believe that if we do see this market find support and move higher, we will see it once again challenge $30, which would mean that we would see SLV challenge 27 to 28. My recommendation is to maintain your current long SLV, and we will look to put a stop in about midweek next week. Let's take a look at GLD. We also began to accumulate and bought on the open. GLD opened at 183.44. I've got it marked close to that price point here, and it is this single candle. What is most interesting about this chart is that this recent decline actually came back and backfilled this gap that has existed for some time. And that is a solid sign of a market that wants to consolidate. It will typically come back and fill the gap market closed at 182.54 and just as with the slv we will look to place a stop midweek next week this has been gary wagner wishing you as always good trading we will talk to you on monday for the next daily update and review bye bye